Hello. In the previous video, I made a start at creating game cameras. So I created a camera component that I can attach to entities and also a camera system. So first of all, I created a, a base system class and then created a camera system that um, draws the game world in the rectangle specified by each game camera. Uh, so if I just show what we have so far, we have, um, we created two cameras. So the camera on the left hand side is attached to the player entity and the camera on the right hand side is attached to the enemy entity. But um, you can see that at the moment both of these cameras um, they're just they're just kind of windows on the game world. They're not um, they're not doing anything more than just drawing the world at those positions. So what I'm hoping to do in this video is a couple of things. First of all to um, set the in-world position of a camera. So to set the point in the game world that the camera is looking at. And what I'll do is I'll create, I'll set the enemy camera on the right hand side to be focused on the enemy. And the player camera will be focused on the player. So that's the first thing I'll do. Uh, the second thing is um, is to add the ability for a camera to track an entity and that will be useful because um, this player on the left hand side is moving around the game world and I want the player's camera to track and follow the player around the world. So I'll hopefully do those two things in this video. Um, before I do though I, when I finished filming the last video, I realized that having a underscore update and update methods is a little bit confusing. So I think I'm gonna um, I'm gonna change things a bit. So when I'm calling camera system, I'm just gonna change that to be dot update and remove the underscore. So the update method is a method on the camera system, so it's saying we're updating the camera system as a whole. So I'll remove that from here. Now this camera system or this system update then checks every entity and remember if the check is if the check passes so in the case of a camera system if if a particular entity has a camera component then it will run update. But I'll call this update entity just to differentiate it. So this is updating the whole system and then this is just updating one particular entity. So I need to change this here. So just I was getting a bit confused about what does what. So update is the system update and update entity is called on every entity that is relevant to the system. So if I run that it doesn't change anything. Um, but makes it slightly easier to understand, to me at least. Okay, so uh, first thing to do is to um, allow us to set where a camera is looking in the world. And I'm going to do that through a method called um, set world position. I'm going to pass an xy coordinate and I'm going to say, um, what should we call them? World x is equal to x and world y. So this allows me to set world x and world y components, which will be the point in the game world that the um, entity is looking at, that the camera is looking at. And what I might say is, 
we don't set them, they'll just be zero. So I've now got set world position. And what I could do in my, um, in at the bit where I'm updating or creating the camera, I could just say this enemy camera uh, set world position. Um, the enemy is at 152.74, so I could just set the camera to be 150.250. And same for the player. And so the camera, uh, the player starts off at 300 zero, but falls down to the first platform, which is also 300. So if I set that to 300, 250. I've now got two cameras both set to different points in the world. So this should be tracked on where the enemy is and this should be focused on where the player ends up once it's fallen down to the first platform. Um, but it doesn't actually change anything yet because we're not making use of that world position. So that's the next thing that we'll do. Um, so this is the updating the entity. So this is drawing the world through each camera. And we're just using the platform and the entity's positions. But what we need to do is we need to offset everything. relative to the camera, so that the camera's at the center. Um, and we'll do that by creating a couple of variables. So offset X and offset Y. And for example, if this If this camera is to be centered on the player, we want the player to be in the center of that camera. And the way we're going to do that is we need to calculate, we need to find the distance of the camera from the left hand side of the screen. We need to find the middle of the camera, so we need to find, because we want to draw everything relative to the center of the camera. So we need to find the position from the left. We need to find half of the width, and then we need to grab the offset, and the same for the Y. So we need to grab the distance from the top, half the height, and then the world position. So if the camera is tracked on the player, we need to shift everything so that the player is in the center. And we'll actually do that by subtracting the world, the camera offset, sorry, the camera world position. And the reason we subtract is because, of course, to, to get the to get the player into the center, we need to actually shift everything to the left and up slightly. Whereas if we added, it would just push everything to the right and down. So we're going to do the X, half the width, and then subtract the world, the camera world coordinate, and the same for Y. So let's do that. We've got the camera rectangle here. So this is the dimensions of the camera attached to that entity. So I can just do camera rectangle X plus um, camera rectangle width divided by two. And then remember subtracting the world x coordinate and the same for y so we want to do camera rectangle y plus half of the height this time and then subtract to make sure that the it's been shifted so that the position is in the center of the screen
So that's the x and y offset that we want to draw everything relative to. So to draw everything relative to the offset, for the entities it's quite easy because we just want to do um, x plus the offset and for y the offset as well. So that's now drawing all the entities relative to the camera's center position. For platforms it's just slightly more complicated because I've got a pi game rectangle. So each platform is just a pi game rectangle. So I need to create a new um, position rectangle. And I'll use the old or the current coordinates of P. So X Y width and height except I want to add the offsets and then draw not the platform but the sort of adjusted new position rectangle I'm not actually sure that I need to do that every time I don't know that I need to create a new rectangle copying in the coordinates of the old one but that's the way I'll do it for now there might be a better way um, so now what we're doing is calculating the offset and using it to draw platforms and entities offset so that the world X and Y are in the center of the screen and adjusted for the position of the camera on the screen as well So there we go, so we've got the camera on the left is tracked to the player and the camera to the right is tracked to the enemy. So if I move my player off to the left, you should see it approach the right hand side of the enemy's camera. So you can see now we've got two different cameras, one tracked on the player or one focused on where the player starts off and one focused on the static position of the enemy. So the second thing I said I wanted to do in this video is just to make, um, to allow us to track, um, to have a camera track an entity so that we can have this left hand camera follow the player around. So let's do that. So the camera component, as well as set world position, we want um, track entity or something like that um, and we just want to say self dot entity to track is equal to the one that we pass in and again initially there is no entity to track so it's optional so a camera doesn't track an entity by default but we can set it to so I'll leave the enemy camera as it is I, I could I could set the enemy camera to track the entity but it doesn't move so I won't bother for now but I do want to say player camera dot um, is it called track entity? And I want the player camera to track the player. So again, we've got um, everything we need to be able to track a player. We just need to now use that in the camera system. So So 
So I want to say, um, so update camera if tracking an entity. So I want to say if um, entity dot camera dot um, entity to track is not none. So if there is an entity there to track, um, we want to say we need to reset the values of world X and world Y to be um, the entity. So what I could do is just say um, uh, what could I call that? I don't need to do that, but it just makes the code slightly more readable. Um, so I just want to say the just tracked entity dot position rectangle dot x. So it's saying if there is an entity to track, then um, set the world x and y coordinates of the camera to be the x and y of the entity that it's tracking. So let's try that. There we go, so the left hand side camera tracks the player. Um, the only thing is that the, so it's almost like it updates each frame, the camera tracks the player exactly so it looks quite jumpy and the camera moves quite erratically because the, the player is always in the exact center of the camera um, what I'd quite like to do is for the camera to kind of slowly kind of lazily move towards the player so that if the player makes a jump the camera looks like it's just kind of catching up um, it's just a slightly nicer effect, I think. So the way I'll do that is to say um, we want the current X and the current y and we want the target x and we want the target y um, and so the target that we want the camera to get to is this it's the x and y coordinates of the entity um, the current, just copy and paste those, the current X and Y are obviously where it is now. And what I want to do is I want to say the X coordinate gets slightly slightly closer each frame to where it needs to be. So I want to say it's um, mostly where it is already. So let's say like 95% of where it is currently. 
plus um, five percent of where it needs to be. So each frame it's moving five percent closer to where it needs to be. And it doesn't sound like a lot, but um, sixty frames a second means that won't take what's that twenty twenty frames. Um, and the same here, but for y. And in fact, um, because it's only ever getting 95% of the way there, it will never, the camera will never quite catch up exactly to where the player is. Um, it'll only ever get 95% close, but um, I think that's fine. So the x and y are 95% of where they are currently, 5% closer to where they need to be. Um, the other thing is that if I'm tracking, if I'm tracking a player, and I want the player to be in the center. Currently, because we're using the the target, isn't the x and y coordinates of the entity because that's the top left of it. Um, I want the target to be the middle of the entity, so we need to grab. Um, Tracked entity dot position um, width divided by two. It's a dot rect dot width. Otherwise, the camera would track to the top left of every entity, which we might not have noticed actually for the player, but for larger entities, it would be noticeable. So, um, and that would be the height divided by two. So we're now saying, if the camera entity to track isn't none, so if there is an entity to track, this is the tracked entity, this is what we're trying to follow. This is where we are now. This is where we need to get to, um, taking into account the dimensions of the entity so that we're focused in on the center of it. And then just say we want to move, what is that 5% closer? each frame. So let's try that. So you can see that as I'm moving, there's a slight amount of catching up. Um, I could change this just to make it more obvious possibly. Um, so I could do 90 instead of 95. So it might move more slowly. No, sorry, that's wrong, isn't it? That's moving faster. So I could do 98%. So it's 98% where it is currently. That's right. You can see it moves much more slowly, which is quite nice actually. Anyway, I'll put that back to what it was. Uh, there we go. The other thing is that the, I'll just show again, but when I run this again, notice how the camera starts off somewhere different and then tracks, so it kind of moves. So what I could do to stop that happening is just to say, we know that the player starts off at 300, zero. By having the camera down here, it starts off down and then moves up and then tracks the player down, which is why it moves around a bit at the beginning. So I'll just set the camera to be where the player is to begin with. And then we should just see a smoother um, following of the player. There we go. So I think that's it. So we've now got um, cameras that we can attach to entities. Um, we now have the ability to 
set the world coordinates of a camera and we now also have the ability to track an entity around the world um, with a particular camera. So I think that's it. Thank you.